If you want to support this channel, consider subscribing and checking out my book in the description below. So my kids wanted to do some camping in the front yard. I said, go for it. Get out of my hair. So I figured this would be a great chance to check out a brand new tent. I just purchased one called the Timber Ridge. It's an eight sleeper or so they say. And this is a chance to see what you got. Funny thing is, if you look in the distance, this thing completely eclipses my small house. It's like, it looks like it's almost as big, but it's not. It's 14 feet long, sleeps eight, so they say. Let me show you a couple of the cool features. Because it does have quite a few. Now, previous to this, I've owned a lot of pup tents, small tents, dome tents, uh, four person tents. This is an eight sleeper. And every time they count the amount of people a tent would sleep, I think they're talking people of Lilliputian size. I'm a big dude. Uh, I see this as maybe a really comfortable four sleeper, uh, six feasibly, eight uh, if you just need to stay out of the rain and you're in dire need of shelter, sure. So yes, it would sleep eight people, but you wouldn't be super comfortable doing it. What I love about this is, you know, features that are common in some tents, not in others. Uh, there's a dual door from either side. I'll show you why in a second. And when you roll this up here, I'm doing this with one hand, there's a little toggle on the other side that you simply loop to this and to here to hold things open. Plenty of windows that zip open, large ones too that are screened. The whole top up in there, lots of ventilation. So there's eight people in here breaking wind after a burrito bean bake fest at the campfire. No one's gonna die. This is cool. The kids plan on using this tonight. So it's glamping really. They wanna bring like a TV or a laptop out here. You can run power through here. Still rainproof. Adjustable cords, which most uh, most tents are gonna have. And the cool thing about this, being such a large tent, it's eight feet by 14, is you have, I'll step inside. I can, in the middle, I can stand, I'm six foot four. Just to prove it, there I am. My head is hitting the screen, but I can stand up here, which is something I've never been able to do in any tent I've ever owned. But the cool thing here is the, uh, Walls of Jericho, or what was that movie? It happened in one night. The cloth divisional wall here, which is a neat little feature if you're camping, you know, parents with the kids when it's a sexy time. So here it is. It comes down really easily, again, with that little toggle apparatus right here. Oh, that's actually a tie off, excuse me. These right here, see these? There's a little hole and these slide through it. And this little divisional wall goes up so easily giving you some privacy, a divisional room. You know, if on one side the kids are trying to sleep and the adults are staying up awake later, you're not gonna have as much of a problem. You can block some of the light, there's some privacy. If people wanna change behind that, some amount of privacy. But all in all, it's a pretty handsome, good looking tent. I really like the colors of the one we picked. And uh, I'm kind of excited at some point to try it out myself. But tonight, it's all about the kids. If they don't come in in the middle of the night, because of coyotes, fireworks, and creepy strangers in a very populated neighborhood walking by in the streets back there as they do two and three in the morning. We'll see. Overall, very pleased with it. This tent retails at about 150 bucks, give or take. I think it's worth the money, especially if you have a family and you want a lot of, you know, a lot of space to stow gear as well as space to sleep and not have to interchange one and the other while you're camping out. So that's what I really like about a tent this size. I'm into tiny houses, but big tents. So there's the review. Links are down below. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.